Um, as the, the brother mentioned there that Jesus uh, did not did not rebuke Thomas and when when he was worshipped that anybody um, could receive worship as well but if you study the scriptures carefully you will see in Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10 when John was in vision there and John fell down to worship an angel and the angel stopped him and said see that thou doest it not for I am of thy fellow servant thy brethren worship God for him only shall thou worship or so on or worship God now I'm saying here that Jesus Christ was perfect in all his ways he said there was no sin found in him he said of the Jews which of you convicted me of sin and certainly in his life in his life he never did anything that was wrong and the very fact that the Bible records that the disciples worship him now if they had done something wrong certainly Jesus would have withheld himself certainly he would have rebuked them I can remember that after Jesus rose from the grave that the woman came at the tomb and 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 fell down to can, worship him to hold him and the speaker just limited yes I'm not limited here so what I'm saying there really is that if worship was not due to Jesus he certainly would have refused it and secondly if he was not God as Thomas, Thomas said then certainly he would have rebuked such a statement thanks a lot for thank you point. okay the brother again has given the same statement that people worship Jesus Christ peace be upon him and he didn't rebuke them that means that he accepted it brother all these statements we have mentioned all these quotations are in black black means not the words of Jesus Christ peace be upon him so if it's not the word of Jesus Christ peace be upon him how can Jesus Christ stop them the only way Jesus Christ peace be upon him can stop them if the words are in red and the quotation which I gave you in my talk are the words in red said by Jesus Christ peace be upon himself Dot all the things that you have said is a third party narration for example revelation you know revelation revelation is a dream seen by saint john in the dream you can do anything in the dream anyone can become god so if you see in a dream someone has become god that doesn't mean that person becomes god what i told you by the condition that i gave you all of them alhamdulillah all of them are in red letter means the words of Jesus Christ. When I say Jesus Christ said, my father is greater than I, it's in red. My father is greater than all, it's in red. And even the one of Matthew, chapter number 19, verse number 16 to 17, when a person approaches Jesus Christ, please me up and tells him that what good things shall I do so that I shall enter eternal life. This is the words in red. Then Jesus Christ, peace be upon replies, why thou callest me good? Because he himself is speaking. All the other quotations you gave are in black ink. Blacking means somebody else is telling. Reading, according to the Christian scholars, if it is a red letter Bible, it is the word of Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself. And himself says, why thou callest me good? There is no good except one that's Father in heaven. So do you mean to say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is contradicting? Sometimes he's saying he's God, sometimes he's saying he's not God. He's not, he's saying I'm not good also, leave us at God. Furthermore, even when he was asked that if you want to enter eternal life, he said, keep the commandments. He didn't say worship me. And furthermore, regarding your statement, you said that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did not commit any sin. I agree with you, brother. We as Muslims, we believe that all the prophets of God, they were sinless, they were masum. So we very well agree that not only Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was sinless, even Moses, peace be upon him, was sinless, and even Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sinless. And we agree with you in this point that they were sinless. But because they were sinless, that does not make them God. That because they were prophets of God. They got the message of Almighty God to deliver it to the human beings. Hope that answers.